Oh, there we go. Good. Hi, guys. They have been working on page 28 through 31, talking in groups about problems number one through four. Before we started, we talk about words like symmetry and quadrant. So talk about symmetry and quadrant, remember what they mean, and then go ahead and it'll probably take about 20 minutes to work through one through four. So you may pause right now. We're going to reconvene and talk about what we saw. So you work on it yourself a little bit and then come back to this video. Okay. You can hear me snap once. Nice. Good. Uh, before we begin, a couple little uh, uh, announcements. Academic Wednesday is starting today. I will not be here today, uh, but I'll be here in other Wednesdays. But if you think you need help, if you are struggling with integers or independent and dependent variable, or you want to take this homework packet and get it done, Miss Morell will be here. So you can go to Miss Morell's room and work on Math 1 stuff starting today after school. A bus runs north and south uh, at 5 o'clock. Some of this other stuff, not for you. You have an opportunity for extra credit. I'm looking for my chemistry class to have water samples from the community. Here's one that got brought in. Can be just in a little container and have a label on it. You'll get extra credit points for turning something this in. I do need this by Friday. We're doing the experiment next week. Noodle. No, is it, is it like... Outside water or like sink water? I don't like really want sink water. water. I'm looking for pond water, creek water, ocean water, dog bowl. I don't know. Wherever right. you can find um, something interesting. Or your YouTube channel, you should give yourself like a name like that. I know. I probably should check it up a little bit. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we're just getting started here. But uh, maybe we'll get creative as time goes on. Does this class have to bring in water? You don't have to, this is extra credit option. You can get a couple extra points. It's probably like 10 points extra credit, which is like the day worth of the homework packet. So it can be anywhere. Well, I don't want your sink or toilet or, you know, anything like that. But I, there's all sorts of interesting creeks and ponds and lakes and oceans and asteros. So something from the community to bring in, okay? And again, that's extra. You don't have to do it, all right? How much, how many extra points do you get? You'll get 10 points. So how about, it depends how interesting the stuff in the water bottle is. <laughs> I will negotiate. If you okay, bring good. me something super <laughs> interesting, <laughs> I, we can talk. I got you. Okay? Now. All right, here we go. Flip back to page 28. Let's see what you got. 28. These are Matthew's groups. Again, yesterday you made your own groups. And one thing you noticed is while there were some while there were some things the same, uh, as you moved from table to table right at the very end, there's a lot of different ways to look at things. So here's one of Matthew's groups. Why do you think Matthew put these graphs in the same group? Brody. Because they're all dotted. All dotted. Anybody else? What else do you see as a similarity that might be the category for this group? Dotted. Yes. They all go in at least one or two more quadrants. Okay. Two, quadrants. two plus quadrants is a similarity. Anybody else? Find something interesting about Matthew's groups. Okay. Ashley. Ashley said, I grouped these graphs together because all graphs showed vertical symmetry. If I draw a vertical line through the middle of the graphs, the image is the same on both sides. A says show why Ashley's reasoning is correct. So I'm going to do it in color because I like color. Here we go. There's one vertical line. 
There's another vertical line, more or less. There's another. This one I'm going to have to shift, but I can see where it should be. It's not an axis. It needs to go up a tiny bit. And this one's going to be symmetric right here. There was a question, and it's a great question. Right here it doesn't look symmetric, but any of these lines, unless you see a dot, a dot indicates an endpoint. If you don't see a dot, you can assume they go to infinity. So the actual line is bigger than what we can see in this little screen or model. So there's the symmetry. If possible, identify other graphs that show vertical symmetry. Who found another graph? Where's my em envelope? Memo. Did I hear you volunteer? No? Uh, Isabella. Woo! Woo! She's got a lot there. Okay. Here's graph B. Is there vertical symmetry? Yeah. Oh, nice. If you didn't put B, put B down for B. Ha ha ha. Sorry. <laughs> B for B. Uh, B, I. Where's I? Uh, Can't find I. What was the other one? Q? Yeah. Let's see, Q, maybe we got to turn these the right way, V, O, where are all my graphs? There's U, looks like I'm missing a page, oh, here's some more hiding, Q, there's Q, yep, there's vertical symmetry in Q, all right. So I'm going to, down here on B, I got B, I have Q, she said, what else? I, I, I she, and E. Do you agree with Isabella? Nice. Okay, flip the page. Nice. We're finding some patterns that are repeating, too, this idea of symmetry as a possible symmetric or not symmetric, and quadrants. How many quadrants do they go through? Dwayne, I group these graphs together because each graph only goes through two quadrants. This was a hard one. Explain why Dwayne's reasoning is not correct. Noodle, thank you. Dwayne, where's Dwayne? Dwayne is on page 30, number 3. You figured this oh, one yeah, out. Yeah. No, wait. It's not correct because on T, the um, line keeps going past the third quadrant. Okay, so on T, if we extend those lines, uh oh, look what happened. That edge, we can't see it on the little view screen that they gave us, but we can understand. If this goes to infinity, it's going to pass through. Now right here, this one's one quadrant, that one's two quadrants. One quadrant, two quadrants. Nothing goes down. Right here, P is one of those that comes and skims along the edge. So one quadrant two quadrant, nothing goes down. Right here, T, if you didn't know this, uh, what you should be putting in A is T, the graph extends into a third quadrant. I know I think number three was one of the harder ones, so if you didn't see that, give yourself a little note in A that you, when we're looking at these screenshots, we need to understand about how lines extend and how maybe our view is limited. If possible, identify other graphs that go through two quadrants. Yes, Jerry. U R K I N G. U R K. You are king? Yeah. Uh -huh, sorry. Uh, and <laughs> G. Okay, let's see if Jerry knows what he's talking about. Uh, other graphs that only go through two quadrants. Here's R. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. One quadrant, two quadrants. It never goes this way. Perfect. Uh, U R K I N G. One quadrant, two quadrants. It never goes up here and it never goes down there. Perfect. That's two. And one more that he said. U R K I N G. <laughs> Here's K. Another one of those where it starts here and it goes down, but a lot of these skim along one axis and never cross over. So one quadrant, two quadrants. Anybody find others that uh, Jerry didn't find? U-R-K-I-N-G, are we good? All right, four. Judy. Judy grouped these four graphs together but did not provide a rationale. So she made piles around her table and this was one of the piles. What do you notice about the graphs? What do you notice? Thank you, Myra. Um, okay, at least two quadrants. What else do we notice? Brian, what do you notice about these graphs? That they are not, not what? Dotted. Not dotted. Awesome. Sounds good. Jackie. Oh. Andy. They all go through at least uh, two or more quadrants. Okay, got that. Good. So two quadrants, not dotted. Yes. Excuse me? Um, if you split one in half, you can move one half onto the other half. So oh, they're kind of symmetric. J's a little weird, but we could do a flip shift. It wouldn't be an even fold like normally you have for symmetric, but you can see how they have similar sides. Was there a hand here? Brody. Brody? <laughs> okay. Uh, so what rationale could Judy have provided? Um, see above. So you, you guys noticed some interesting things. Maybe those are the reasons that she... Uh, uh, put those in a group. They also kind of have random shapes. I know one thing Noodle and I were talking about is maybe those were the leftovers. Did you get some that were just like you couldn't fit them into any of your groups? This kind of looks like her leftover pile, maybe. Okay, flip the page. Oh, ho, ho. if you have a highlighter, go ahead and get it out. We have some more terms. We did symmetry and quadrants. See how we're doing for time. Okay.